Hello, um, Aquarius. Welcome to your uh, bonus reading. So this is a bonus reading. We're going to be looking at um, some extra detail, right? See what the freak is going on. Uh, this, is for, uh, this is for Aquarius, the moon, rising, Venus. So let's get it popping. Let's see what's coming, what you need to know in your love life. Heading into the ending of June. I will be pulling some channel messages towards the end. I'm thinking about making it like an um, plus all signs, meaning I'll pull channel messages from each uh, zodiac sign, see what they want to say to you, but we'll see. All right, well, what's coming to uh, Aquarius in love? This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. For Aquarius in love. All right. Aquarius, you do have a heart to heart conversation coming up here. Um, and giving a relationship a chance. Bottom of the deck, you do have reconciliation. Somebody does want to reconcile with you. Get back together. Okay. Let's come into Aquarius and love. Aquarius. Okay, you got the King of Cups. Uh, who pulled the King of Cups? Capricorn. You could be dealing with a Capricorn. Uh... Could be dealing with an Aries. But there's definitely um, a heart-to-heart -heart conversation coming for sure. Okay. It's coming to Aquarius in love. Two of Cups. Oh. So somebody wants to um, be honest with you about how they still feel about you or about how they feel about you. I feel like someone's wanting to be vulnerable. They want to open up to you. I feel like you and this person definitely really love each other. Okay. The feelings are definitely mutual. It's definitely there. But maybe it's time that you guys finally have, you know, that conversation. Okay. Some of you here, you might have to let someone else go. I don't know why that just came out, but. <laughs> What's coming to Aquarius in love? Bonus reading for Aquarius. Ooh, yeah. This person is coming uh, back into your life. For some of you, this is someone um, coming, yeah, back into your life here. Okay. Um, and when they come back, they want to be honest about their feelings for you, Aquarius. That's what they're doing. I feel like this person, um, when they come back, they're going to want to have a, like a heart to heart conversation in person. Like they're going to want to see you. So they may be planning like a meetup where they might call you and say, hey, like, can we meet up for coffee or hey, can we meet up for drinks? Um, but I feel like it's this person's way of trying to like have a, a moment with you to where, you know, you know how the freak they feel. Right. So no more avoidance. No more. Yeah. See, this is this reading is literally um, just like Aries reading like. Could be dealing with an Aries or someone who has it in their moon rising or Venus, okay? But yeah, this person's coming in here. They want to have a conversation. And it's going to happen very suddenly. Something that you, you're not going to be expecting. Um, there will be clarity. Yeah, there will be clarity here. Could be a Leo. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, uh, Aries, Capricorn. Um, another Aquarius, Leo, is what I'm getting. Uh, can we clarify this to a sword reverse? I feel like someone was in denial. Bottom of the deck, two of cups. Those in denial about their feelings. Wow, this is like a sudden shocking event here. So you have somebody who is coming in out of the blue, reconciling or wanting to have a union with you. This is someone that you're very compatible with. This is someone that I feel like you equally love because the Two of Cups talks about a love that is mutual. Okay, Six of Cups. This could be someone rushing in from the past here. Sun. So it's like I'm hearing it's time person's done hiding they're done yeah they already feel bad for letting this be a missed opportunity or 
however they acted in the past, but this is someone who still loves you and are searching and looking for a new beginning. Page of coins. Some of you here, you gave this freaking ultimatum. Like, look, if you don't tell me how you feel or if you don't open up, you know, this could be someone who is emotionally unavailable. I'm hearing Scorpio as well. Okay. Then you would just like, look, I'm good. Okay. But now I feel like they're feeling much more positive and enthusiastic. Okay. About uh, opening up and telling me how they feel. I don't know if this freak just had a spiritual awakening. Okay. Judgment could be an awakening that they had. Um, and they're just like, look, I'm going to lose Aquarius if I don't um, do what needs to be done here. Okay. If I don't do what needs to be done. So if you think they don't love you, think again. Come into Aquarius in love. Aquarius. Aquarius. Yeah, see, this person was wearing a mask. Mm -hmm. They were wearing a mask. They weren't being honest about their feelings. This is a soulmate. It's going to take them courage, but they're going to have it. They're going to get it. And you have wedding. So the union, the one union marriage. So it does feel like this person is, is the one for you, Aquarius. You have reconciliation. I miss you. Back together. Faded. Unfinished business. Someone who's taking a chance. They're rolling the dice. Um, all the while, yeah, this person's sitting over here, you know, with all these feelings towards you, honey. So I do feel like they're ready to um, tell you how they feel, but I don't think it's going to happen over a text. I don't think it's going to happen over the phone. I feel like this person is going to want to um, actually see you. So that's what you can expect. I feel like they're going to want to do things proper. Okay. Maybe this person's used to kind of half-assing things or whatever's wrong with this freak. All right, if you're dealing with an Aries, what does this Aries want to say to you, Aquarius? If you're dealing with an Aries. Okay, so this Aries um, wants to see you face to face. Okay, Aries to Aquarius. Aries to, ooh, madly, madly, helplessly in love with you. Okay, Aries to Aquarius. I'm hearing this Aries is acting narcissistic. Okay, it's really because they were emotionally unavailable. Okay, and maybe they didn't they didn't want to get hurt. Okay, what does this Aries want to say to Aquarius? Uh, this Aries wants to take a take you on a nice date soon. That's why this Aries was projecting a lot of their insecurities or fear or something onto you, um, and they're aware of that. But they're saying that they're willing to give you all of them. Okay, some I mean, of you you got to hear that this Aries is planning to propose to you. Um, they may contact you on social media here. Um, let me get one final message for, um, Aries to Aquarius. You have a reconciliation and this, um, thank you, baby. Give me a second. Okay. Make sure there's no bugs out here. Okay. Put it right here. Okay. Make sure you put it on your, on your desk. Okay. Thank you, baby. Okay. So this Aries says, Let's start, let's start a relationship. Because Aries wants to start a relationship with you. Aries to Aquarius. Because Aries says, I won't hurt you. Okay? All right, moving forward. So now we're going to be doing Taurus to Aquarius. What does Taurus want to say to Aquarius? Ooh. Okay, so this Taurus says they can't compare to you, so... No matter what, they can't, I don't know if you had trouble like forgiving this this freaky Taurus, but they said, you know, these, these freaks out here can't compare to you. They fall for you. They have fallen for you. They said, don't get it twisted. You're mine. They're jealous and mad over you. They've been intimidated over you. They say you're very beautiful. Oh, so we have non-committal in the reverse. So this... This um, Taurus probably has some commitment issues, but I feel like they're ready to come up out of that because they love you. And I never told you how I feel, but now they want to. My feelings are getting stronger. All right, moving forward. What does Gemini want to say to Aquarius? Gemini, ooh. Gemini's feelings are also getting stronger. 
You're very beautiful, Gemini's Aquarius. I can be really difficult to love. So this Gemini knows it can be very difficult, but they want to know if it's too late, Gemini to Aquarius. I want to know more about you. Does Gemini have pride and ego? They know that they need to grow up. They want to spoil and spend money on you. But they also want to know if you will um, lie or die. I feel drained. Right. If you're dealing with a cancer, what does cancer want to say to their Aquarius? Ooh. This cancer says they're not going anywhere. So, you know, if you think they're going to, well, good luck. Because it says that they don't want to go anywhere. Okay. This cancer says don't get it twisted. Your mind. Cancer to Aquarius. Cancer to Aquarius. This cancer is very jealous and not over you. Okay. They say they don't want anyone else but you. I'll fight for you. Okay, that's rated R. But this cancer says that that pussy is theirs, honey. <laughs> they say it. Um, your pictures and posts make me very jealous. <clears throat> I don't know if this cancer had insecurity or jealous issue. Okay. And then this cancer says, baby, let's get married. So they do want to marry you. Okay. Yeah. This cancer, this cancer says, baby, let's get married. So yeah, this, this freak does want to marry you. And you also have married again. So it's something about marriage that this cancer wants with you, Aquarius. And you have, let's get back together. Okay. So this cancer wants to get back together. Uh... What do we have? Uh, Leo. What does Leo want to say to Aquarius? Leo to Aquarius. So is Leo maybe bringing you a gift soon? Does Leo could have jealous or mad exes, but they don't want them. They're tired of acting like they don't want you. I'm coming back. Crazy about you. Not going anywhere. This Leo wants you to have their babies. Unexpected confession. Let's get back together. And this Leo's very lonely without you. And they say they won't hurt you. What do we have for Virgo to Aquarius? Virgo to Aquarius. This Virgo talks to other people about you. They want to know how you feel. For some of you, I'm hearing this Virgo wanted you to chase them, but... That didn't work, okay? It's not going to happen. But this Virgo wants you to know they're very interested in you. They're jealous over you. You're very beautiful. This Virgo is going to call you. They don't want you with anybody else. But they know they also need to grow up, but they're willing to do better. And they want to be more vulnerable with you. Cool. All right, if you're connected with a Libra, what does Libra want to say to Aquarius? You are something special. Because Libra wants to start a relationship. Okay. This Libra might drive by your house or job or they want to come to your house or job. This Libra says that you can trust them. Some of you, this Libra's ex was trying to interfere, but they don't want that freak. That's just the truth. Texting you soon. Commitment scares this Libra, but they love you enough, okay, to try to work through it. Maybe they have trust issues or vice versa. Um, but this Libra is very interested in you, and they feel you belong together. All right, moving forward. If you're connecting with a Scorpio, what does Scorpio want to say to Aquarius? Scorpio to Aquarius. Okay, so the Scorpio expected you to chase them. That didn't happen. Okay. They say that thing is theirs. Mm -hmm. What you like, what you wear. This person wants to buy you things. 
Um, I feel drained by this. You inspire me to be a better person. I better not see with anyone else. So this, this Scorpio does want to offer you commitment. They're very jealous and not over you. We have a phone call. Don't get a twist of your mind. I feel we belong together. Um, but they also want you to be patient with them. Okay. If you're connecting with a Sagittarius, what does Sag want to say to Aquarius? What does Sag want to say to Aquarius? Okay, so I feel like the Sag, I feel like they weren't looking for love or relationship, but they love you. Okay. But they are ready to reveal their true feelings. I won't hurt you. They're super attracted to you. Let me take you shopping. They want to move closer to you. And I'm also getting like emotionally um, Sagittarius to Aquarius. <laughs> Lost my thought for a second. But yeah, see, at first they weren't looking for a relationship, but they're in love with you. And they want to offer you a relationship and they will. Okay. I love everything about you. Madly, helplessly in love with you. And I'm coming back. All right. What does Capricorn want to say to Aquarius? What does Capricorn want to say to Aquarius? So they might contact you on social media. They don't want you with anyone else. They're ready to reveal their true feelings. There will be a reconciliation. Anything else? Is it too late? Capricorn to Aquarius. Capricorn to Aquarius. Texting you soon. This Capricorn has a lot of pride and ego. But they'll do better. Okay. Your pics and posts make them very jealous. <laughs> Maybe this Capricorn has some kind of life issue blocking the connection, but... Um, I'm hearing, yeah, they've been acting out of pride and ego. And I'm hearing if you don't pick up, if you don't respond to their text, they're going to call you. All right, so let's do um, Aquarius to Aquarius. Aquarius to Aquarius. What messages do we have? Aquarius to Aquarius. Life issues blocking our connection. This Aquarius knows that your wifey hubby material. This Aquarius wants to give you the world, but they want to know if you're going to hurt them. Because they say they won't hurt you. I feel like they want to get on the same page with you, but they're willing to fight for you. They may have had a fear of rejection, but they're still going to come on in here. Healing myself. Hearing someone's child, mother, or father really hurt them or something like that to be affecting things. Um, but this Aquarius thinks of you first thing in the morning. Okay, Aquarius to Aquarius. And they're super attracted to you. All right. Last but not least, Pisces to Aquarius. Pisces to Aquarius. Messages, please. Okay, so this Pisces wants to plan a date night for you. They're planning a date night. They love everything about you. You will reconcile. Yeah, they want to buy you things and take you on a date. They feel like this feels very uh, heavenly. They enjoy the vibes. They feel like this is like some kind of spiritual, ethereal connection. Although they've been very intimidated as well. But they don't want you with anyone else. They wonder if you'll hurt them. Family and friends. My family and friends want us together. So I'm hearing their family and friends are, are, are an influence for them in wanting to be with you. But they want to know how you feel about them. Okay. So that is what that freak wants to tell you, Aquarius. I hope you guys found this helpful. Okay. That is what you can expect here. You know, this, you know, an important conversation is coming up between you and this freak. Um, and that's stacked up. All right. Be sure to like this video. If you, 
if you found it um, helpful. I do get that there's some kind of declaration or confession of love coming in here. All right. Talk to you guys soon.